literature, it's dance, it's music, it's a tremendous amount of areas. You, all of you, can make those changes happen. And the person that's a perfect example of this is Juana. Juana is probably the most amazing woman I've met in the last five years, because that's how long we've been together. And Juana, when I met her, she says, I want to learn how to do this. And today, Juana is the leader of the group of Las Bordadoras de San Francisco Tanibet, who are a group of eight women who have created their own language. This does not exist. This craft did not, uh, does not exist in Oaxaca. It's not particularly, I don't like the word term craft, I like the word art. And they are um, women who learned to embroider. They didn't know how to do any of this. Not embroider, not cut uh, cloth, not lay out designs and colors. Juana, in her interest to make changes happen for herself, her children, she made this artwork possible and this exhibit. Um, she taught me how to be human and to think about the art in a whole other way. So it is, a whole exhibit is dedicated to the women of San Francisco Canibet, es dedicado a ustedes, las bordadoras de San Francisco Canibet, for their amazing effort that they've done the last five years. Please give them a walk. that we took, this journey that we took together as women, they began to tell me the story of immigration in their village. And I felt so moved by, I'd heard a lot of stories, I knew all the struggles, but it's not the same when you meet people that are affected directly, especially mothers. As a mother, to know that she lost her, she wasn't able to see her son since he left at 13. And the other women who have also hadn't seen their children, it was important for me to see what would happen if we pushed art to the maximum and made her an artist and made her arrive to Los Angeles like she did last night, legally, on an airplane, invited by Spark to come and see her son. We are, um, we, by this whole story, I was moved, I went to talk to Yanis of the Stars, Anna, say that thing. Yeah, Anna does the mat that's in the back that you've seen. Yanis does the sock installation. La Pistola, who's somewhere around here, I don't know if they're alive or sitting or passed out after all that mural. Is, um, these guys decided to take the challenge with me. I said, will you help me tell a story visually with your artwork? And they all told you a personal story. These are personal stories, each personal story. Her mother came as an immigrant, is now back in Oaxaca, and Ana arrived for the first time legally to the United States as an artist. So a round of applause. by the sadness that she couldn't adapt again to Mexico. So Ana did, uh, Yanis began to tell me her story and she goes, I'm going to do an installation of what my mother told me. So the sock installation, which was also embroidered by the women of Tani Met, with Yanis is another marvelous project that Yanis has done. So another round of applause for Yanis. La Michelada is, um, is La Pistola, uh, got here, didn't know what they were getting into, found the fabulous spark lab that let them do all sorts of stencils in a very short time because otherwise it would have taken five weeks to get that bird up. And they began to um, do this story with Luis who is also has struggled and has a wonderful story. Everybody that's arrived to the United States has a wonderful story, a hard story, but a wonderful story, a human story. 
This show is dedicated to all of you. Every Tani Vet family, every family from Michoacán, Guadalajara, los Chicanos, los Japoneses, los Chinos, we are all immigrants. We need reform acts today to allow and respect all the work that you do every day in the United States. And I am only honored to be here thanking Spark to support me again, thanking Judy, Deborah for a long-term friendship, Armando, numerous artists that are here as friends, numerous, all the Spark staff, and, and I am extremely grateful that you came to see this beautiful show in dedication to las familias de Danibet y todos los inmigrantes de México y el mundo. Muchas gracias.